What's up, everyone? Happy Sunday. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. This is Tony with Tony's Timepiece for you. Today, I am wearing my Tudor Black Bay 58. In fact, I wear it every day. It's actually my favorite watch. Um, I'm going to be doing another review uh, overall, what I think of it, and coming up. Um, I also have a couple other things coming up, which I'm excited about, as long as they pan out. Um, so, this particular video is a little bit of a rant, but in a sense, uh, not a rant in this, that I'm mad about anything or I just, you know, but what I am bothered by now is certain words. If someone mispronounces something, I'm cool with that. Like if you say guitar or guys, a guitar, I'd be like, okay, all right, dude, whatever. Um, but what bothers me is when I see professionals in a certain industry, no matter what it is, and say they're a teacher and they're trying to be an educator and educate you in something, you should be able to pronounce the words correctly that you're using. So in one sense, what I'm gonna talk about is the tachymeter function on a watch. The tachymeter <clears throat> is a gauge. Basically, it is a tool to measure distance. One point of reference to another point of reference usually in a smaller reference, not like you would use a chronograph to measure or a chronograph like a stopwatch that you could go for hours or whatever and clock or time certain events or whatever you're using it for. The tachymeter, again, like if I was just walking down the stairs and I wanted to see how long it would take me to get from this point to this point and measure not the distance but the time, then that's what the tachymeter is for. But the problem is is every review that I see on YouTube, they use tachymeter and they pronounce it incorrectly. That bothers me. Only bothers me when it comes from someone who is high up, who's again, an educator or has a wealth of knowledge. Tim Massa from Watchbox Reviews, if you know who he is, I would imagine you do. Because if you're watching this channel, I would surely imagine you watch him or Teddy Baldazari, uh, Baldazari, is that his name? Um, that have, you know, huge numbers in viewership. You know, my, my channel is nothing, you know, compared to what these guys are. And someone like Tim Masso, they, he has a wealth of knowledge. He's an, an encyclopedia of watch knowledge. But even he says, tachymeter. Okay. Again, it's used to measure distance. Just like on a, if you, an airplane. Uh, they have what's called an altimeter. An altimeter scale measures height, the distance from the ground to whatever. It doesn't have to be from the ground, but the height of one point of reference to another point of reference. If you're in an airplane, you have an altimeter. It tells you whether you're at 20,000 feet, 10,000 feet, 100 feet, whatever, but that's what the altimeter is for. Um, if or parameter, if, I'm at a, if I have a parameter of an area and someone says parameter, we're going to measure the parameter. If I was a student and I'm, I'm say, want to be a contractor and someone says, okay, we're going to measure the parameter of this using our tachymeter, I'd be like, dude, who the fuck are you? I need to go to another school. You know, the, the, the tachymeter is actually pronounced tachymeter, tachymeter, not tachymeter. Everyone, I mean, okay, I used Tim Masso from Watchbox as a reference, but everyone, Teddy Baldessari, like all these big channels, all these people that have just this wealth of knowledge that are trying to educate you on your watches and what they, the functions of the watch, you know, if, if we all know, say Rolex has a superlative chronometer, we know what that is. We should know what it is. If he said this is a superlative chronometer, uh, then that's not correct. And so now you're educating other people to say it incorrectly. And then other people that know how to say it correctly are going, dude, you call yourself a watch guy? Even I know how to say it. So, tachymeter, measuring distance, short distance. Altimeter, not altimeter. If a pilot, and if I'm in flight school learning to be a pilot, and the, then the, the instructor goes, we're going to use the alti altimeter, and that's what that's used to go, yeah, I'd be like, whoa, dude, I don't know. Okay. I'm ranting, but again, it certain things don't bother me but when you are someone who's that high up or don't have that much knowledge at least know how to pronounce the words or the function of what that what you're trying to describe is again 
Okay, so sorry about all that. But uh, again, not tachymeter, tachymeter. Say it with me, tachymeter. <laughs> all right. Um, and then, you know, I, I, I don't expect anyone's going to pay attention to this video. Some, some people watch a lot of my video or that get a higher viewership than others, then I get virtually nothing. So, you know, but if this could get to the right people, like the higher ups that do these, the higher ups, the, the people that have the much bigger audience than I do, dude, pronounce it right. You know what I mean? That's all I'm asking. You know, that's what annoys me. If I'm a, watching someone review his watch, that maybe not doesn't know someone who's just a watch fan or just getting into collecting or trying to collect um and he says tacky meter it do, that doesn't bother me at all i yeah it's like all right dude you know it's no big deal that really bothers me though you know and on then another note one other thing that really bothers me is when people use the term entry level watches oh yeah it's a good entry level watch into swiss watches it's almost like saying that you you get it's a great entry level patek okay you know i know it's an intro, introduction to a brand or into whatever it is but but the entry level sounds so it's like it's a derogatory saying it's like really you know i don't know tiso is a good entry level watch when you just start wearing watches dude i know millionaires who wear fucking tiso you know so don't they, you know it's not like they don't have the money they they or they I'm going to stop. <laughs> Tachymeter. Remember it, okay? Tim Masso, stop saying tachymeter. Teddy Baldazera, don't say tachymeter. Bob's watches, whatever, don't say tachymeter. Watch Gringa, don't say tachymeter. Don't. Just fucking pronounce it right. That's all I'm asking, okay? So, having said that, signing off. I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl.